Well, I was outside of the church. I um, I got involved with crowds I shouldn't have been, um, gotten relationships with people I shouldn't have been in, and I uh, I didn't go to church, but I, I prayed regularly. I, I prayed to, to get out of it, to figure out how to get out of it, but I didn't really feel like I could get back into church because I had been gone for so long. So I knew he could save me, I just wasn't sure how. So one Sunday, I got invited to come to Evangel by my husband's sister. I came and the experience was very awesome. It really ministered to my soul, so I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna come back next Sunday. And so I did. And I kept coming back and it's just the, it just kept ministering to me. It's like, I felt like, you know, this word is meant for me. And I started to feel like, well, I want to become part of this church. I, what do you have to do? And she told me and I went to every single connecting class. And when I graduated, I just felt a part of it. Like I was meant to be there, you know? Um, Andrew and I were, uh, we were living together and my parents had been taking my children to, to church uh, every Sunday and Wednesday like they did with me. And they would ask me to go to church all the time, but I, I wouldn't go. And uh, finally one Sunday they asked me to, to come back to church and I knew it was time for me to, to go. And, and so I agreed and I, I went one Sunday and just, I loved it. And then I started working in the kids ministry and stuff. And then as I started working in kids ministry, I started to, you know, meet with different people. So I um, got to know Jean Frazier. She was the one of the first people that I've really had a connecting experience with because when we did the Pink Impact that year, I was sitting and everyone was leaving for lunch because I didn't have a car. So I was just sitting there. I was like, oh, well, I'll just be all right, you know. And she just saw me sitting and she invited me to go to Chappie's with her. And I was like, this lady knew nothing about me, but she just invited me to go to lunch with her. Ever since that day that she took me, she always spoke to me and asked me how I was doing. She even remembered her my name. And two weeks later, she called my phone. I don't even know how she got my phone number, but she called my phone and invited me to go to the movies with them. So I was like, this is how I know this church was for me. Well, I, um, I used to work in, in retail and it was killing me and I felt one day I felt like God had called me to to do child care and it just things just fell into place things that we needed um, children everything just fell together perfectly and I'm able to work here with the church and use my volunteer time here whereas it was pretty much like going to waste before and it's just, I feel like I've got more time with my family. We've grown a lot closer since I've become a stay-at-home mom, pretty much. I got involved in the food ministry because when I went one time, when they had to help me, I saw the love that they showed those people and how they tried to help them, you know, how they were helping them, and they also prayed for them. That ministered to me, so I wanted to become a part of that, so I started helping out. Doing that ministry made me feel good, like being a part of a church that does something like this for people. It felt like family uh, immediately. I mean, people talking to you. I mean, even the church I grew up in, you know, for most of my life, I, I, there's still people that just wouldn't talk to you, just let you walk by. When you walk in here, it's you, you just feel it. You, they accept you. you. They really do. You know, you, 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 feel, you feel Jesus. It's, it's different. During that time, I was having, we were struggling financially in my home and our lights ended up getting turned off. My Paulette, my um, husband's mother-in-law, was like, well, you can ask the church to help you. And I was like, why well, I don't want to ask the church to help me. I just joined the church and stuff. And I talked to Pastor David. He signed the paperwork and they helped me get my lights turned back on. And I was like, I've never had a church do anything like that for me, you know, to do something, you know. And I talked to Pastor Rippy about my marriage and he didn't judge me. He was very welcoming and he helped me through a lot. People really don't know, but I used to go to him and have conversations and meeting with him and he just made me feel like, I, you know, I meant something to somebody. 
and I've never had any experience in church. It's never too late. You can always come back. You can always feel the love of God. You, you can, it, it, it'll change you. And it will. It's, it's definitely the best decision we've ever made was to come back. Ever. I love being a part of Evangel. I love being able to help out in the ministries here. And I love every service. It's like I'm here for the first time every time I walk through the doors.